Over the last few years, I've tried more antivirus programs than I care to admit. Some were just okay, others were straight up annoying, and a few really stood out. What I've learned through all this testing is that most antivirus software will promise you world military grade security, lightning fast scans, bulletproof malware detection, but once you install them, reality tends to hit a little different. Some slow your system to a crawl, some flood you with pop-ups, and others are so clunky to use that you start to wonder if the virus would have been less stressful. That's why today I want to talk about four antivirus programs I've kept coming back to. Norton, Total AV, Bitdefender, and McAfee. These are the ones I've actually spent time with, used across different devices, and tested under normal everyday conditions. No lab coats or sterile environments, just me, a bunch of downloads, multiple laptops, and phones and a whole lot of patience. Just keep in mind as we go throughout, you can find links to the best possible deals for all the companies I'm gonna mention in the video. So if any of them stick out to you guys, then check out the description below for the best possible deals on all of them. So keep that in mind as we go. Let's start with Norton, because if you've been around the internet for more than five minutes, you've heard of them. It's one of the oldest names in the game, but surprisingly, it hasn't fallen behind. In fact, Norton 360 is still one of the best all-in-one security setups you can get these days. I've been using the deluxe plan for a while now, and I have to say, it does pretty much everything I need it to do without making itself a burden. It protects five devices, gives me a reliable VPN that doesn't choke my connection, and includes dark web monitoring and a password manager that I actually use, especially when I'm switching between work accounts and personal logins. The scans run fast, the software doesn't eat up memory, and I can barely even tell it's there until it stops something suspicious. It also has parental controls, cloud backups, a privacy monitor, webcam protection, you name it. The only thing I nitpick is how it splits features across different dashboards. You've got the desktop app, the web dashboard, and some tools that only show up in one or the other. It's not broken, but it takes a little getting used to. Still, once it's set up, Norton's the type of software that fades into the background and just does its job without begging for attention every two seconds. Pricing is fair too, especially with the first year discount. Just keep in mind that it jumps a bit once it renews, but if you're happy with the service, I think it's still worth it. Total AV, on the other hand, was a surprise. I didn't expect much going in because it's newer and tends to get lumped in with budget antivirus software. But once I actually gave it a try, I realized it's anything but cheap in terms of performance. The layout is ridiculously simple, which is a breath of fresh air. You don't have to click through five menus just to find a scan button or figure out what a feature does. Everything is right there, easy to understand, and works out of the box. What makes Total AV interesting is that it runs most of its scanning and detection systems through the cloud. So instead of bogging down your machine or system like some of the older, heavier antivirus tools do, it keeps things lightweight and responsive. I've had it running on a mid-range laptop with zero slowdowns while streaming, editing, or downloading files. Plus, the VPN they include with the internet security plan is actually solid. It's fast, it works with Netflix and other region-locked content, and you don't have to jump through hoops to get it running. Even the extra tools like the disk cleaner and password vault are simple and useful. I like that the feature sets don't dramatically change between plans. You're basically just paying to cover more devices or unlock the VPN and password tools. Again, the only thing to watch for is the renewal price. Total AV's first-year deals are some of the best out there, but if you're not paying attention when that second bill comes around, you might get a bit of a sticker shock, so set a reminder to review or cancel if needed. Now, Bitdefender has always been one of those names that doesn't yell for your attention, but it just quietly dominates regardless. It's consistently ranked at the top in independent testing, and it's earned that spot. The antivirus engine is one of the most advanced out there, but what really impressed me was how little impact it had on my devices. I could run a full system scan while editing a video and browsing on multiple tabs, and it barely nudged my system usage. What I like about Bitdefender is how clean and no-nonsense it feels. You don't get bombarded with upgrade prompts or flashy banners. It just works. The total security plan is the one I'd recommend because it gives you five device coverage across Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. You also get extras like microphone and webcam protection, ransomware rollback, and a VPN that's usable, though it's limited to 200 megabytes a day unless you upgrade. There's also real-time protection for mobile devices, anti-theft features, and multi-layer ransomware defense built into the core system. Bitdefender is ideal if you want strong security with minimal input. It's not trying to be flashy, it's trying to be effective and it nails that. Pricing is also excellent for what you get, especially when you consider the long-term protection it offers. And unlike some of its competitors, Bitdefender doesn't constantly try to upsell you, which I really appreciate.
appreciate. Lastly, let's talk about McAfee. For a long time, McAfee had a bit of a reputation for being bloated, overly aggressive, and kind of stuck in the past. But I have to admit, in the last couple of years, they've really turned things around. What makes McAfee stand out now isn't just antivirus, it's identity protection. They've leaned hard into monitoring, alerts, and recovery, which makes it a great choice if your main concern is keeping your personal data safe across multiple platforms. Their ultimate plan, for example, offers coverage for an unlimited number of devices and includes up to 2 million in identity theft reimbursement. That includes everything from legal fees to stolen funds, and you also get credit monitoring, dark web scanning, and even social media account protection. Protection. This is the kind of plan you get if you're serious about digital safety, especially if you've got a family or you run a small business and want to cover multiple people. They also include a VPN, password manager, and parental controls. So it's still a full antivirus suite, but the real strength lies in the layered identity protection. The interface is better than it used to be, and performance-wise, it's no longer the resource hog it once was. I've tested it on a few devices and didn't run into any lag or weird behavior. So after all this, which one do I actually recommend? Well, it depends, because Norton is probably the best all-around pick for most people. It's balanced, smart, and handles everything from real-time protection to privacy tools without complicating your life. Total AV is perfect if you want something that's clean, lightweight, and super beginner-friendly, especially at the price they offer. Bitdefender is the go-to if you're someone who wants cutting-edge protection that you don't have to micromanage. And McAfee is a solid choice if you're less worried about viruses and more focused on identity theft and account security in the bigger picture. They all work, they all have strengths, it just comes down to what matters most to you features, ease of use, speed, or long-term protection. And like always, if you're interested in trying any of these out, I've got links in the description that'll give you the best deals currently available. And if you've used one of these and had a completely different experience, I'd actually love to hear about it in the comments, especially if something went wrong or totally impressed you. If you have any questions as well for me, feel free to leave them down below. But as for now, thank you guys for checking out the video. If you found this helpful, hit that like button or subscribe to see more content like this. I've got more breakdowns and reviews coming soon, so stick around and I will catch you in the next one.